What's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play today. I've got some more Hearts of Iron 4. This is the Together for Victory DLC. We are playing as New Zealand or the Kiwi Empire. Last episode, we invaded Australia finally here. And we've got a couple things going on. We just popped out two new divisions here that are on the boats, ready to come on over to Sydney here to help out with this little uh, bit of a <clears throat> threat we've got from the north here from that Australian division. And then we're also working on trying to hold on over here in Victoria. What is this? What city is this? Uh, I don't know. Whatever fucking city that is. So I've got one division coming over by land, two more coming over by sea. Total of eight divisions in the mix now. We do need to pick a new research. Um... And industry-wise, it is January 1941, so I think it's helpful to get maybe not construction right now, but potentially the assembly production line there. You know, we could also roll down here and get the improved computing machine. I'm actually liking that one at 228 days there. Also working on boosting up our new naval bomber a little bit and navy-wise too, the light cruiser. It's about to finish up. That'll be good till 1944. Unfulfilled import requests from the German Reich here. So let's move that back down to zero. I could probably get some from the Soviets. Yeah, that works a little bit better. So now we should have a much better looking production line, which we do. So really just now lacking on the aviation production and the motorized production there, which, you know, showing oil need of eight, aluminum three, rubber six. So hopefully we'll pick some of that up. All right. New guys have now arrived here. And we're going to wait for their organization to go up a little bit. Meanwhile, uh, we can probably push forward with one of these divisions here. I'm going to have him carve out a new section of territory like that. What else are we looking at? This guy's coming back down over here now to Melbourne. You really need to post up there, buddy, so we don't get cut off. These two divisions now, I can actually mount an attack going this way, which we're going to catch them with lower organization than what we have. He's actually going to chill there in Melbourne for me, thankfully. Good God. Uh, this guy is going to come up like this and see if he can't help out in that attack as he's fully recharged now. He's coming back down this way towards the south. These two guys are moving down towards the south as well. So it's really up to this division here in the north to do anything about it. Not really seeing any air power challenges there. I've also queued up another division who's starting this training now. Down to 137k now in manpower. Okay, this guy... Uh, why don't you go ahead and produce an attack going this way, and then I'm going to bring him in in support of that and actually surround him. Let's move you up this way. And then this guy I'm going to take up north like this and see if I can't surround this cav unit like that. Oh, time for a new research here. Okay. So, uh, pause it here really quickly because we've got a couple things to do, including boosting up our light cruiser production class here to a level three. Ugh, I hate that. It's going to take a lot longer for him to get this going, but that's all right. Um, assembly line production, guys? What do you think? We could switch over to the mobile warfare, m m m mobile warfare doctrine there. Let's do that. Time to modify the government as well. We just went to service by requirement there to get that extra manpower. <clears throat> Something that could help us out potentially with fighting Australia. Division recovering rate plus 8% cavalry. Don't need that quite yet. Yeah, let's get the regrouping guy in there. Free naval dockyards now. Let's throw an additional one into the light cruiser production like that. I've got five additional now military factories, which honestly we don't quite need right yet. All right, these two divisions that are posted up here, I think it makes sense for you guys to mount an attack this way on that cav. 
We have trapped now. This tank division. Nice. Let's have you continue moving further north like this. Uh, meanwhile, I guess you can roll up towards Brisbane there. See if we can't get Australia to, to capitulate early. Okay. He's headed up there. Uh, this is now turning into a red for us. I'm going to add you into the attack like that. And I'm actually going to bring in this extra unit here as well. Just to make sure that we win that. Okay, we finished off that one tank division now. Got another guy moving up here towards the north because we do have this little division that's been hiding away from us. He's headed towards Sydney, probably. Uh, this guy is going to move over here now. And so, really quickly, take that territory so we're not distracted by that anymore. Showing in a green 97 up here now. That's awesome. Okay, and we did get him to retreat. So he's actually going to move in and mount another attack there. Perfect. You're going to actually help in that route there. Two divisions here that we can continue moving further north like that. Come on, guys. Take this other little piece so the AI can stop being so dumb. Oh, we've got several enemy divisions up here now in the mountains. We've taken Brisbane. So now what are they down to in terms of capitulation? They should be almost finished. 95% there. Interesting. Okay. These guys can start actually moving now further this way. And let's try and see if we can't surround them. He's going to move here, so I'm going to have you sort of do a territorial acquisition like that. Very nice. Okay, we do have one guy posted up in Sydney now. That's good. Our guys are fully supplied. Ooh, attacking into the mountains like that, that's tough. So it probably makes more sense to try to surround them. They're on the move now, aren't they? Yes, they are. We've got all eight of our divisions there stacked in. Where's our other one that should be on the way here? Okay, he's only at 26% training. I think I may leave him. Okay, sweet. Uh, this guy, okay, he's taking the rest of that territory now. This guy then, I'm going to have him sort of do one of these moves where he's trying to take from the north. We can go ahead and move into that area. Okay, starting to look a lot better for us now for the Kiwi Empire. Here we go. He's continuing to move through. Nice, okay. Once you make it, make it, make it, make it. Perfect. Move up here now and actually assist in that attack for me. This guy's going all the way on the other side, interestingly enough. Where are their victory points, though? Factions, resource, resistance, states. Hmm. I wish there was a map mode for that, like an HOI-3. Is there anything back up here? Oh, there's a victory point. Who's Townsville? Dispersed industry is done. Perfect. So we've got actually got a couple of these to pick now. Let's go and grab the assembly line. Let's also grab... I'm tempted to take that construction tech. Actually, we could upgrade the artillery. Yeah. Let's get the artillery upgraded. 91 days there. And we can actually... We're actually producing outdated equipment. Finally... We're up to the Albacore now. Naval Bomber 2. Get it done, guys. Get it done. All right. So, extra military factories now. I do want to plug a... I'm going to plug the rest of those into the Naval Bomber 2 production. We may need some fighters as well. So, I need to remind myself to go down the fighter tech tree as well, because we may need that later in the game to protect our Australian holdings. So let's continue rolling northwards here if we can. Whoops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. These two are going to come up and attack from that way. You're going to move north, move north like this. You're going to come up one province and then attack from the side. Defend our islands is now finished. Very good. 
Uh, let's go for the destroyer effort there. That attack was wildly unsuccessful. <clears throat> we'll see if we can get a better intelligence support. Four, in between four and seven divisions now. I actually have eight, so this should go towards our favor. And I'm going to attack from all sides here. Actually, you go up by one like this. I uh, will take one of these divisions, the Maori volunteer group there, and see if I can't surround these this group of three Australian divisions who's they're just sort of sitting there, really. Okay, now they're on the move. Let's take one more advance like this. Okay, not going to happen. I could also start coming down from the north here with this, Bris this Brisbane division. Okay. Which is going to cause them to react to that again. I'm going to move those guys further north. Mm, not going to take it, are they? How about you make a cut across like that? Uh, one division here now that we can continue pushing. He's going to run away from us. Oh, they have two divisions sitting there now. Interesting. Okay. Okay. All right, we've moved forward now with these divisions. We're in a mountain attack. Uh, that's going to go pretty unsuccessful. Is that the mountains? No, that's clear plains. They have dug in. Move one more with you. Got with you. You hold tight for me. You're just wasting manpower. Two divisions here now that we could actually start moving this way. This guy's going to try to make a run back down here. Let's try to move in on that mountain province if we can before he gets there. He's got two divisions now that I'm going to try to follow up and surround him with. Oh, nice. Okay. This is actually showing as a nice result for us there to green 66. Let's make one more cut like this coming down this way. And then I may take him and run him up here to the, towards this other victory point of Townsville just to cap that out. All right, he's done that. So, you actually move back up this way now and along the coastline and try to take that one victory point so we can get them to capitulate out. Uh-oh. Get down here, damn it. Go down this way. And then over there and chill in the city. So you're going to come in like this and try to cut off their supply lines. Now... These two divisions, uh, they're actually moving down this way. But I need you guys to continue to push north here. So you're going to come up like that. Yeah, they're shifting all around now. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can catch up with that cavalry unit and stop him from moving. Very good. Yes, they did take back this city of Victoria now. Adelaide. He's headed back in there, though. He's coming in as well. So we're about to have two divisions there. Meanwhile, this guy's getting attacked from both sides, so stay put for me there. Just play defense. These guys can continue rolling northwards like this and this. Take that really quickly. Yeah, seeing some resistance, which is to be expected. These two guys now, yes, we've taken the city back. So both of these units, I actually want to mount an attack this way like that. So seventy, a green 74 we're going to show there. He's retreating. But these two armies or divisions should be attacking that way. Perfect. He's going to move in like this. And then this guy is going to make his rounds coming up this way. Oh my god. Australia capitulated. Yes! We did it, guys. We are still seeing a little Dutch presence up here. Let's get these two guys to come in and join the attack. He's going to try to get away. He's going to try to move away. That looks like that's probably one of those uh, crap-ass little militia divisions. Is what I would think. But look at all of that, guys. That is fantastic to see. 
So I've got a new division coming out now here on North Island. His training is 70% complete. Okay. We're going to go in and move in behind this unit now to take that city. All right, let's move down the next land doctrine here. The delay tactic. <clears throat> I want to try to get that additional 5% manpower modifier. How many casualties did we take in that little war so far? 10k. It's not too bad. He's going to stop recruiting after that one com guy comes in there, which will be fine. All right. Finally now, showing at a green 60. So let's finish him off. He's going to run out of supply there. Very good. What we could do... Is there any... No. It's going to ask if there's any resources up there. Germany actually holds this one. Interesting. All that chromium, all that juicy chromium is sitting up here. That will probably be the next assignment for invasion. Awesome. Okay, we cleared that. Oh, France. We're actually seeing an allied breakout up here. Hopefully Germany can handle that. Denmark has capitulated. Very good. I'm not even going to touch the British Raj here yet. All right, so these eight divisions now. Perfect. How are we looking? Destroyer effect is finished. Let's pause it really quickly and reorganize some stuff. Light cruiser. Let's get that. What am I missing now? Tons of resistance everywhere, huh? Okay. What if I... Used my experience here to... You know what? Let's actually... Duplicate this. We're going to call this the um, suppression units. Suppression divisions. And you guys can have motorized, but... What is your suppression rating? Six. If I add a cav... It goes up to 8, 10. Okay, so those... Okay, cool. So it cost me 5 to remove those. Um, hmm. Still manpower of 600, though. Six, or excuse me, 6,000. Suppression is sitting there at 6. Cav, cav have 5,000 now. But that suppression rating is 10. So... What happens if I remove one? Goes down to 8. 4,000 in mint. Let's try it, right? Uh, train a couple of these up. Location is obviously going to be here in North Island. Okay, that brought me down to 119k now in manpower, but we just need it. We need it in order to uh, quell the resistance going on across the, the the Australian mainland there. Meanwhile, I want to take Turquoise Group and start a new plan with you. Hmm, eight divisions. We do need to make sure we get these islands, right? Okay, we'll have to replan that out, and that will be our plan for the next episode, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and or comment if you've enjoyed this content, and we'll catch you next time.